Hello and welcome to the climate update and uh, we're going to talk, there's a lot of things going on with the climate, the, 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 the out of control uh, disaster that we are experiencing as, climate, as the climate crisis continues is like a train, uh, somebody likened it, I was reading an article, it likened it to a train that is heading downhill, a train that has no brakes on it. Uh, and uh, you know, no, and it keeps getting faster and faster and faster. So, we're going to be looking here at the uh, Modus satellite for starting things off, uh, just to show you where the fires are, of course. So, I uh, do have fires uh, that are still going. You still see a lot of smoke coming out of Alaska. Still, you can see some smoke over here, and this smoke is heading right into the Arctic too, right into the deep Arctic, like over here. And then there's Greenland, which is experiencing this crazy heat wave that's been going on right now in Greenland. And actually, let's just take this back and show you. There's so much ice that's melted in Greenland uh, as a result of this heat wave. Let's see if I can just move this away a little longer really quick. Unfortunately, it does disappear. But you can see, look, uh, this was July 24th. There was a lot more ice. This was just a week ago, all right? And now, move it over here. Look at all the ice that's disappeared already. So you can see a lot of ice has disappeared. And this is very worrisome and very troubling because Greenland is now undergoing a heat wave. That's right. Greenland is undergoing a heat wave. Uh, and uh, if we look, uh, the heat wave over Europe is now stressed over to Greenland because of the jet stream. And, of course, the same heat is causing all these fires in R Russia, which continue to burn out of control uh, with no, s no, no end in sight here. No end in sight. So here is the smoke. Hoping maybe there's some more rain in here, but who knows? It's enough. You can see this. All this smoke here is just going nuts here from these fires. It's just a huge. Uh, it's been sitting over the same area, and the smoke is. The smoke actually over here is actually from Russia. I don't think this is from Alaska. I think this is from Russia. So it's going all around the, all around the globe. All this smoke, which is which is absolutely insane. Uh, we have Flossie and Eric over here, uh, which have weakened. Uh, uh, they're in just tropical storms now, uh, but if we go back and look at it, they were much healthier yesterday. Uh, you know, one was uh, I think Flossie was up to a Category Four at one time, or maybe it was Eric. Uh, but they've weakened now, and uh, hopefully they will. Uh, but they are. It looks like it could. This could impact Hawaii as a tropical storm. We'll have to see what happens. It's very close, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, Considering tropical storms, here's tropical storm Eric right now. Um, oh, is there a map from the Hurricane Center? There is not. It's missing. Okay, we have Flossie. All right, so Flossie is a little more of an imminent threat here. Uh, so we'll look at the NHC track for that. That's a more imminent threat to Hawaii, perhaps. Let's get this map to load. So uh, here it is. So it, it keeps us a tropical storm and curves it just northeast of Hawaii. So the maximum stain wind still a pretty substantial storm. Maximum stain wind 65 miles an hour. So it's still pretty substantial. So uh, we're going to look at the Ventu sky here and uh, look at the temperatures uh, that are going on across uh, the, you know, the globe right now and the heat, of course, that is encompassing much of the country. You can see this, uh, there is relief here, though, in the northeast. But again, you have this stall front. You can see the ridge right here. A lot of heat in the southwest. In California, too, it looks like pretty hot. Even in the west coast, yeah, even up the west coast, they're dealing with some heat, too, uh, into the Pacific Northwest. And again, this is all just through the jet streams just being disorganized. And again, you have all this heat just going right into the Arctic here. Again, still, it's still in the... Uh, Still some warm temperatures. It shouldn't be that warm over there. But it's Greenland that's dealing with the heat now. Yes, Greenland of all places. And people are talking about this Greenland heat wave that they've been experiencing. So uh, I'm going to take this back again to this morning. Because, again, it was uh, warmer in uh, Europe and in Greenland. So here you go. We're in Greenland here. And we have temperatures up into the 70s in parts of Greenland, which are never supposed to happen. You're never, never supposed to see this heat, uh, this hot air going into Greenland, which is which is insanity. Uh, insanity. It really is. Uh, here we go. Temperatures are very warm. Now it's not supposed to be this warm in Greenland. And we still have heat in Europe, too. Some heat in Europe going on. Not as bad as it was. But look at all the heat that's going into Russia right now. Look at this. This is going where the fires are going. Temperatures in the 90s. 
very unusual to see this, and this is all because the jet streams are all screwed up. Now, uh, they have a reading here. I'm very curious if we go up a little higher here. Let's go up a thousand meters above the ground. Because uh, this gets a little interesting, because you see the cool over Greenland because of the ice here, all right? It's like a refrigerator, but it's melting very quickly. Uh, but if we go above the ice, let's go a little higher here. You'll see temperatures are pretty warm. Uh, it's like 500. We'll do 500 meters. Yeah, look at this. So temperatures are above freezing, above all of Greenland. Look at that. Look at how warm it is in Greenland. Look at how this really shows you the heat right here that's going on in the ridge uh, that you have right here. You can clearly see this ridge is going up over Greenland here. So you have these crazy ridges that, that are happening, and it's all because of the jet stream. So let's look at the jet stream now. So here you go. Yes, see what I mean? Look at this huge ridge. Look at this mess of a jet stream that we have. So we have this huge ridge that's going all the way up. Look look at this. It's going across the Arctic Circle, all the way up across Greenland, bringing all the heat with it. And, and then you have this other ridge over Russia, too. So you look at the jet stream. It is a complete mess. You're seeing the jet stream completely break down, almost. And this is because the Arctic is warming at a rapid rate. And now we have reached past the tipping point. Uh, we are now accelerating toward... Uh, uh, major climate upheaval, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm glad to see some, it's finally starting to get reported in the mainstream media, but I fear it's almost too late now uh, at this point, because uh, we are starting to kick in these feedbacks that are going on uh, across the planet uh, that are, are going to continue to get out of, as more ice melts and these fires burn, the surface is darker, which traps more heat, melts more ice, making it even warmer, so it's a feedback cycle. And then you have these fires that are going on in Russia. We're going to go right back to this area here in Russia. I want to go back to yesterday because you could actually see s some of the areas. If you look here, these blackened areas. I mean, somebody said it's always, uh, one of my viewers said three over now three million hectares have burned. Uh, no, n uh, th this is more than it's ever burned. And a lot of these are peat fires. So here you go. Here's one of them right here that's burned out. And these are peat fires. There's a lot of carbon trapped in the peat that's getting released now. So again, it's it's causing these feedback cycles uh, that are uh, accelerating uh, the climate crisis. It's, it's it's feeding back on itself, and and now it's reached to almost a runaway point. In fact, in fact, these fires have burned more than uh, the output uh, a carbon output of Sweden and Belgium. You've had countries worth of carbon output coming from these fires, and they're still going. And they're still going, and there are no efforts by Russia to put these things out. Uh, you know, it's obvious that they don't care about the environment. I, I understand. They think, oh, it's natural. This is not natural. Not this much fire activity. Some small fires, yes, but nothing on this scale. Uh, this is very abnormal, and it's, it's really just tipping us into these out-of-control feedbacks that we're going to start seeing. Uh, and, you know, we're going to see the collapse of the Arctic eventually. So look at these ocean temperature anomalies here. Uh, across off the west coast here. We're going to look at some of these uh, ocean temperature anomalies here on earthnoldschool.net. Four degrees Celsius above normal, all right, uh, which is seven degrees Fahrenheit above normal. Uh, Bering Strait, you have uh, seven to eight degree Fahrenheit anomalies here. Very warm, and this heat is making its way in. You see the heat making its way in to the Ar Arctic Circle where the ice is and melting the sea ice very rapidly. Uh, and uh, like I said, I think we're going to get very close to a blue ocean event. We are going to set a record minimum this year. Uh, and even off Greenland, we have these uh, water temperature anomalies, too, uh, with the heat that's go ongoing over there. Uh, yes, heat in Greenland, okay, heat wave in Greenland. If you don't believe me, you can just Google Greenland heat wave causing massive ice melt. Photos from Greenland, co a worrying uh, cost of the heat wave. We urgently need to change our way of living. Uh, so this is what's going on here. I'll put these links in, in the description below about this Greenland heat wave uh, that's going on. But the ice is melting very, very quickly. Uh, we will go to the CBC uh, link here. It says it says more than ten, more than ten billion. Tons of ice was lost to the oceans by surface melt on Wednesday. 
So look at these meltwater lakes going on here. The heat wave that has smashed high temperatures records in five e European countries a week ago is now over Greenland, accelerating the melting of the island's ice sheet and causing massive ice melt in the Arctic. Greenland's the world's largest I Greenland, the world's largest island. It has 82% of its surface covered in ice. All right, the area of Greenland islet ice sheet that is showing indications of melt has been growing daily and hit a record 56.5% for this year on Wednesday. Uh, and uh, 10 billion tons of ice was lost. 10 billion tons of ice was lost. Look at these graphs. Look at these graphs. We are well below that. We're going well below that. Warm and sunny weather, so the ice loss will continue. Uh, to to the, the scope of Wednesday's ice melt is a number difficult to grasp to understand just how much ice is being lost. A mere one billion tons or one gigaton of ice loss is equivalent to 400,000 sized Olympic sized swimming pools. So 400,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Uh, and that responds, and, and 100 billion tons corresponds to a 0.28 millimeter rise in global sea levels. So the sea levels are rising. Uh, more times said, since June 1st, roughly the start of the ice loss season, Greenland ice sheet has lost 240 gigatons this year. That compares with 290 gigatons lost overall in the 2012 melt season, which usually goes through the end of August. And we're still the go we still got a ways to go, so we're going to beat 2012 for sure. A June 2019 study by scientists in the U.S. and Denmark said melting ice in Greenland alone will add between 5 and 33 centimeters to rising sea global sea levels by the year 2100. If all the ice in Greenland melted, which would take centuries, the world's ocean would rise by 7.2 meters. All right? This is called the traveling heat wave. The current melting has been brought on by the arrival of the same warm air from North Africa and Spain that scorched European cities and towns last week, setting record national temperature uh, uh, setting national temperature records in Belgium, Germany, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and Great Britain. In Russia, Forest fires caused by hot, dry weather and spread by high winds are raging over nearly 30,000 square kilometers of territory in Siberia and the Russian Far East, an area the size of Belgium. Smoke from these fires, some of which are in Arctic territory, is so heavy it can be seen in satellite photos and is causing air quality problems in Russia's largest city. So, protesters in Moscow on Thursday were demanding the government do more to fight the blazes. Yes, they need to do that. They need to do that, but Putin is just like Trump. He don't care about the environment. Uh, Greenland has also seen battling, been battling having they have wildfires in Greenland, too. And they said it's very uncommon. So, in Greenland, the melt area this year is the second biggest in terms of sea ice affected, behind 90% in 2012. All right, so... This is a disaster here. Uh, with human-caused climate change, there is a potential for these kind of rates to become more common. Heat waves have also occurred, but noted that as global temperatures have risen, extreme heat waves are now occurring at least 10 times more frequently than a century ago. This year, the world saw its hottest month of June ever, on record. Uh, so, uh, and he also noted ice extent in the Arctic and, Antar and Antarctic as at record lows. So it's affecting the southern hemisphere, too. So uh, this is uh, what's going on. I'm not going to read every single thing in this article, but a uh, great article, great graphs. I don't know, I'll put it in the link below. Uh, just a disaster uh, that we are witnessing here as we accelerate. And let's talk about the ice right now. Here's the latest sea ice concentration as of 30, uh, uh, July 31st, 2019. And you can see there's very little thick ice left. And it's only going to be this area that's going to be left. And you can see it's just melting like crazy. And, and, the, and we have months to go of this. It's, it's months to go. And as we have less ice, it gets darker, absorbs more heat, raising the temperatures more. It's a feedback loop, basically. Uh, and we're setting it in fourth. And everybody continues to drive the huge 
gas guzzling SUVs uh, that I see every single day uh, on the road and you have these politicians uh, that you know want to say well you know we're gonna do something about the environment we're gonna ban plastic bags we're gonna plan ban pl uh, plastic straws we're gonna ban bags we're gonna you know what that ain't gonna do nothing let me tell you something that ain't gonna do nothing to stop this you know if you want to ban something and here we go we're looking at small fine particles of the kind that are emitted by fires and take a look at how many are over Russia right now so this is what I mean with this wildfire smoke it is out of control and so you have these politicians Delaware just passed the bill to ban plastic bags in 20 to all bags I think maybe just plastic bags in 2021 no this ain't gonna do nothing you gotta go to the source of where all this stuff that's going into the air is and that is the internal combustion engine if you need to ban something that is what you need to ban Stop running your mouth about caring about the environment when you're not going to do what it takes and getting these gas pus internal combustion engines off the road. And like I said in the other video, you've got to start with the biggest vehicles. And you've got to start banning. We're not planning plastic bags in 2021. We need to be banning big trucks and SUVs now. Now. But nobody's listening. And we'll continue to see this uh, disaster unfold because most of humanity is just too stupid and too self-absorbed to realize the, the deep crap that we're in right now. So that's going to wrap up this climate update. Again, I can't, I, I'm not, I, you know, I'm not, it's not a rosy picture. It's a disaster. And people need to wake up. And we, like I said, forget about plastic straws. Forget about plastic bags. We got to get these damn SUVs, big pickup trucks, big SUVs, big internal combustion engines off the road for private use because this has accelerated ever since these things became popular and we need to get them off the road I don't care how unpopular it is to say it we need to do it because we are only screwing ourselves the longer we keep driving these things anyway that does conclude this uh, update take care and uh, thank you for watching and let's pray for Earth because right now I think we are heading into a runaway train effect that will be unstoppable unless there is some divine intervention such as large volcano eruptions or something to block the sun uh, so uh, that that does wrap it up take care